I went to the minor basilica and metropolitan cathedral of the Immaculate Conception yesterday, December 18, 2021. The name is quite a mouthful and it's also referred to as the Manila Cathedral for short. This is in Intramuros, the walled city of Manila. Both Pope John Paul II and Pope Francis have visited this basilica. The Latin inscription here reads, To thy immaculate heart, and trust us and consecrate us, in Latin. I went on a Saturday, and there were a lot of people out and about, enjoying the cool weather of December. Here's a tent selling Catholic swag on the side of the Manila Cathedral. Beside it is a stall selling bibinka, a baked rice cake dessert eaten all year round but particularly associated as a seasonal Christmas food. There's usually a few bibinka stalls outside churches to cater to hungry people after dawn masses the week before Christmas. I shot a more detailed video on this Christmas pastry in 2020. Please check out the link in the description below. Across the church is the Plaza de Roma Park. Got a drip, put it on, turn a king from a pawn. Royal blood is running strong, sing it. Fall, la, la, la. The party got me spitting while the fair and hide is slipping. Catch me hiding while you're waiting, celebrate until it's gone. There is also a bookstop in Tremura's little pop up library in the park. It's a place with cyclists, street food stalls, and lovers on a date. There's an urban legend conspiracy theory, though, that people who marry inside the Manila Cathedral will end up separated. Here's a plaque commemorating this walled city. Behind it is a relic to past vaccination efforts of the country, no relation to COVID-19. This statue was erected in honor of Charles IV of Spain, who apparently spearheaded efforts to introduce the smallpox vaccine to the Philippines. At the other end of the Plaza de Roma is a government office building called Palacio del Gobernador. According to Wikipedia, the building's exterior was used in the Chuck Norris film Delta Force 2, The Colombian Connection, for a scene set in Rio de Janeiro. Beside it is a parking lot with what seems to be an interesting faded mural on it. This is the view of the Manila Cathedral standing from across the Palacio del Gobernador. This cathedral is dedicated to the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary as the patroness of the country. Here is a Belen, a traditional Filipino Christmas nativity scene. On the other side of the church is the Belfry Cafe. The highlight of the cafe are the large bells installed near its ceiling. There's also a very interesting clock's gear contraption near the entrance. This is apparently the cathedral's tower clock mechanism that struck the bells to sound the call to prayer at designated times. This is a very interesting piece of machinery, very intricate. Fans of horology, watches, and industrial engineering will get a kick out of this medieval era precursor to today's more advanced automation hardware and robots. Just like the Plaza de Roma Park earlier, this was also a popular spot for people to take photos at. I walked to the other side of the cathedral after. This is the Ayuntamiento de Manila building. It used to house the Manila City Council. Today, the Bureau of Treasury occupies it. It started raining at this point, that's why I put on my raincoat. There's another cafe, La Cathedral, on this side of the church, but unfortunately the queue was so long to get in, I didn't try anymore. Hope you guys enjoy this little Christmas vlog. Which part of this church complex did you like best? Please comment below. Please thumb up this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to be updated when I upload again. See you next video.